Hey folks, just quickly want to make a video, just show you what's in my fridge, what's in my cupboard. Um, and surprisingly, guess what? What you buy in the supermarket is what you're going to eat during the week. So I'll show you how I do it. And uh, this is how I try to keep eating healthy, keep my calorie intake low and eat for a purpose. So straight up, I mean, um, I'm only buying for myself and my son um, at this point, but basically for snacks, as far as if I'm hungry in between meals, what I'm just going to grab out, I'm going to snack on. I get um, these snackable carrots, right? So they're portion size controlled, little carrots ready to go. Um, strawberries, super low calories, 100 calories per 250 grams. A uh, whole punnet of strawberry, of blueberry, sorry, you can eat this whole punnet and that's about, you know, uh, 60 or 70 calories. So super low, super sweet. Instead of having lollies or chips or anything like that, you just eat those fruit. Uh, so much yogurt, always yogurt and always these Yopro, 20 grams of protein as well different flavors. So these, I think there's about 120 calories per tub. That's a 170 gram tub of yogurt, about 120 calories and you get 20 grams of protein. Always looking for ways to get the maximum protein in for the lowest calories. And if you're looking to make up a great dessert, um, obviously our low calorie jelly, one we made the other night, and um, you just get some of that, put it in with a punnet of strawberries, put it in there with um, one of these, you have like a giant bowl, 250 calories of dessert with like yogurt, with protein, with jelly and fresh fruit. Absolutely delicious. Up and goes, these are actually mostly for Noah. Um, I do have them as well though. They're about 200 calories in them and 17 grams of protein. So you see what I mean? This is just like a liquid, meant to be a liquid breakfast, right? On the go, um, but 200 calories in that, 17 grams of protein versus 120 odd calories and 20 grams of protein. Yep, the yogurt is way better. So, um, but I don't mind them, my son likes them. And also sometimes it's just good to have a bit of a chalky milk or sometimes um, if I just need a little bit of uh, energy before I go train and I don't want any solid, I might have an up and go. Coke Zeros, always keep these in here because um, super sweet, and guess what? Zero calories, absolutely zero cal calories, that's right. So if you're hungry, uh, but you've already eaten your sort of calorie intake, you can, you can smash them. You can have three of those, fill your belly up with them. Um, now, obviously it'd be better to just drink water instead of having that. It does have artificial sweetener, but you know, according to the studies, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, better option would be water. I don't mind drinking these, so I drink these. That's up to your personal preference. My meat, ready for the next week. So there's my steak and there's my, um, my uh, lean beef mint. Eggs, some um, dips just for my carrots. So. That's still super low calories. Apples, lettuce, and that there, that's last night's food that I cooked up. So that's like lean beef mince with a ground chili powder on it. Mix in with uh, white rice and mixed green veggies. So that's super, you get like a giant, you get like an enormous plate of that food um, with your protein, with your carbohydrates, with your fiber, everything you need. And it's probably like 450 calories. So it's, a, it's just a, a super healthy way to eat. And every time I cook one of those up, I probably get two or three meals out of it. So um, it keeps my cooking down a bit as well. Um, that alcohol in there, I don't really drink that stuff. I need someone to come around that drink sparkling red. And um, yeah, I've got cheeses. Cheese is my weakness. Um, I'm just aware of how calorie dense it is. So I don't eat it much, but you still have it. And sauces, those beers and stuff are... Um, are just stuff that other people have brought around. I don't really drink them. Into the pantry, and well, what else do we do? Well, jelly lights, always make sure we have them. As soon as I finish a bowl of jelly, we just make another bowl, make sure we've always got jelly in there. Jets biscuits, I just showed you how many calories they were in one of the shorts. They're really high calories, but um, it's good to have for you for a little snack, and also Noel likes them, so that's okay. Tuna, heaps of tuna, we always have tuna. Um, I'll just eat tins of tuna as a snack. I'll eat it with mayonnaise. There's lots of calories in mayonnaise, but you just look, got to know how much mayonnaise you're putting on. Um, and it's fine, but if I just want to have a snack as well, I'll just grab a tin of tuna. Good protein, low calories. There's about 70 or 80 um, calories per tin of tuna. So you can eat as much as that as you want all day. Popcorn up the back of snacks. And I keep the popcorn. I buy it in those five mini packs. So when I want to have a snack, I know I just pull one pack out and then I'm just having like 64 calories, right? I'm not opening a big pack and then trying to judge how many serves I'm having. I just buy the stuff sort of pre-packed 
pretty done and that's it. Pop-Tarts, well, Noel likes Pop-Tarts, he loves them. So I bought the one he doesn't like. That's why they're sitting there unopened. <clears throat> and next shelf down, it's pretty much just like cooking stuff, really. Just sauces and flavours and things like that to put on. Some baked beans and noodles because, you know, what kids are like. Taco kits up the back, and that's all fine, just for your lean beef mints. And so that's sort of how I do it, folks. I kind of set it up so that, oh, we'll go into the into the freezer. Oh, oh legs are a bit tight. Um, full of meat for the most part, full of meat and mixed greens. Um, that's just how I sort of do it. So when I do get hungry, my options are, I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. I want a snack. What am I going to do? I'm gonna have some fruit, I'm gonna have some yogurt, I'm gonna have a hard boiled egg, or I'm gonna drink some like diet soda, right? Like they are my only sort of options. Or I'm gonna come in here, oh, I really feel like a different sort of snack, a savory snack or something like that. I might have like a packet of sultanas, I might have like some popcorn there, might have a tin of tuna, might have an apple, might have some jelly, and for the most part, that's how it sort of works. That's how I generally try to keep my calories. When it comes to dinner and so forth, I'm like, what am I gonna to have tonight? Well, I'm gonna be having some sort of vegetables, some sort of rice, some sort of meat, because that's mostly what I have in there. If I do have other things in there as well, it's mostly going to be, like I think I've got a packet of um, chicken schnitzels type thing in there. And the reason I do that is because I can chuck them in the air fryer, I look on the back, it says four schnitzels in the packet, you know, total calories in the packet, X amount. So, you know, okay, two, two schnitzels is half the packet. I know how much I'm eating. So it's not that you can't eat calories. Like you have to eat calories, of course. It fuels your day, it fuels everything, your whole life. But you just need to know how much you're eating. That's the main thing. 